is planetary health? UNFCCC basically states that human health and the health of our planet are deeply connected. In order to guarantee our livelihoods, we must ensure our health and the well-being of the Earth. However, we aren't doing a good job. Therefore, through our topic of sustainable planetary health for future generations through science, technology, innovation, and economy, we, Aisha, Hyun, and Jacqueline, representing SM Stella Maris Pudu, will be discussing about green building technology. Green building technology is a building that maximizes energy efficiency and is also environmentally friendly because it reuses materials. Through this concept, we explore three processes and the ways they can be embodied in future construction of buildings as potential green technology. Welcome to Hayen's Garden, and here you see what is called compost tea. Compost mixes water to form a liquid fertilizer. Compost itself is naturally black. This is why farmers nickname it black gold, because it is very nutrient-rich. But what is compost? Compost is the decaying of organic materials into valuable fertilizer. The benefits of compost are that it increases the water-retaining capability of the soil, which in turn increases water conservation. It also reduces food waste and enhances soil health. But when compost decomposes, carbon dioxide is released as a byproduct. How can we exploit this carbon emission to our benefit? Well, one way is that the CO2 release can be used as a refrigerant for air conditioning systems. Minimal energy can be used to push the CO2 into an evaporator coil and absorb heat from the air inside a building, thus cooling the air, creating a more viable air conditioning system for a place. Solar power is a conversion of sunlight into electricity by using photovoltaics or concentrated solar power. Photovoltaics are commonly used in solar panels. When sunlight hits solar panels, energy is absorbed by PV cells and converted into electricity. On the other hand, concentrated solar power is a passive but brilliant way of fully utilizing solar energy. It works by placing windows and other heat absorbing materials strategically to facilitate maximum absorption of solar energy and converting into heat which is used to produce electricity. By incorporating these two elements in the architecture of a building, the electricity collector can be used in powering out everyday things such as electrical appliances, water heaters and providing lights to our houses. Reverse osmosis is a water purification process that uses a semi-permeable membrane to filter out unwanted molecules from drinking water. It uses a high-pressure pump to increase the pressure on the contaminated side, which forces the water to move through the reverse osmosis membrane. A benefit of this system is it has the ability to effectively eliminate dissolved substances from water. It also prevents consumers from catching waterborne diseases. Therefore, the reverse osmosis system plus a built-in remineralization filter can be implemented in buildings by installing it at the point water enters the building. This will ensure that the water the residents are getting is clean and safe for consumption while still getting the essential minerals needed by the body. Water that is used in washing dishes and brushing teeth can also undergo reverse osmosis and the remineralization filter to be reused. This reduces the water bill while having a continuous supply of water. The amalgamation of these processes with others can hopefully manufacture more green buildings for the future. It's up to us to create a more sustainable future for ourselves and the planet.